Hi, today we are going to discuss about URL recategorization options available in Zscaler portal. Zscaler provides an option to do a recategorization manually from the portal itself. Also, there is an option called raising a support case with Zscaler support team and do the recategorization at the back end. If you do so, the categorization will be affected the entire cloud users. Here we are going to discuss about how we can do the recategorization manually on Zscaler portal. Let's jump in and see how we can do. When you go to administration, under access control, you could see the URL categorization. Under URL categorization page, you could see a list of predefined categories. There are around 103 predefined categories and there is an option to add a custom categories under uh, a yes, specific tenant you can add around 64 custom categories you can do a recategorization for 25k urls in a specific tenant i'm taking an example itsecurity.com as an url which needs to be recategorized when you do the URL lookup, this URL is comes under blocks. But as per your corporate, you think that that particular URL should be comes under news and media. You can, at the rightmost side, there is an edit option. You can go ahead and click edit and you can add that URL under itsecurity.com. When you do so, if there is a policy for news and media, this itsecurity.com will be accessible. In some corporate, they will do different kind of custom categorization. They will not uh, trust on the predefined categories and they will create a custom categories and they will give you a granular policy for the, their users. In that case, what we can do, we can create a uh, custom category, something like a low list, black list, or specific URL list, something uh, like that. And you can add the URLs under the particular a low list category. When you do so, there should be a policy with URL category alone list. Then the users can be accessible. Like I said, the third option is you can write a support ticket and the, do the categorization globally from the backend. Also, when you see this custom categorization, you could there are two options to add a URL under custom URLs and URLs retain parent category. Under custom URLs, when you add a URL, the URL will be completely recategorized into custom URL name. Let's say it's, it is a low list. So when you add a URL under custom URLs, the URL will be renamed, category will be named as a low list, henceforth. When you add a URL under retain parent category, the URL will be categorized under IT security, under uh, a low list and also it will retain the parent category as well that means if there is a policy to uh, access a low list category you can access itsecurity.com and also if you have the uh, policy called uh, policy with the category blocks then also you can access itsecurity.com because uh, the zscaler will retain the parent category even if it is categorized to a custom category as well. So this is this particular need uh, is come into picture if they, they create a granular policies for their corporate and uh, blocking the specific access or category based access for certain set of users and allow for certain set of users. So, but in the recommendation, it's always recommended to go with custom URL categories if there is no specific need to add the URL sign parent category. Because when you, you add a URL into retain parent category, so there will be plenty of confusions. So the Zscaler uh, categorization may not work properly if you added a uh, parent domain under parent retain parent category and subdomains under some other uh, category. So always recommended to add 
uh, the URL into custom URLs if there is no need for re retaining parent categories. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.